the question for me was how I can add more comfort to the viewpoint management and um, this uh, is a small demo. Uh, my environment, I have some cat objects here, an array and some colored uh, cubes. This red uh, square is the position of the camera and to get a bit little more uh, interesting environment I have added uh, some images uh, and button image it's a processor and a circuit and then some background images so and now uh, I have a navigation system which is controlled only by keys and you can see the keys here and this keyboard status monitor and in the report view uh, you can see the position of the camera and the direction of the camera. I start a navigator so in the left screen you see the view of the camera and here we can see the moves of the camera. First uh, is we have direction X uh, and this one is my first version of a head-up display uh, when I see the green and the red quarter of a circle that means I look to the X direction and now I can use the cursor keys see here and this means I can move the direction. Okay. I go to the negative Y side. And for some more, when I look to the negative X direction, there is no background, you see this here, and you see here only the blue sky. And so I can go further and come in here again. And the next thing what I can do, I can use the cursor up and down to look down to the button and up to the sky. So now I look up stairs to this uh, array. Next thing what I can do, I can move my camera uh, into the Z direction. And now I am on the top, I can look down and I can move to the Y direction and look back and I can come down So the problem now is that I only see the background image and I want to visit the inside of my environment and there is the next property of the camera it's the near distance property and the near distance property is now set to 100 and I can change this value and everything inside the near distance is not rendered. So if the near distance is large enough, I can look behind this wall. You see, now first my head-up display is hidden because the distance of the head-up display is uh, 200. And I go further. And now 
uh, I'm on the image in a distance of about 1600 and when I go further I look inside the object I can now change my view and I can go further and you see how stepwise the background and the button is hidden now also the array the parts of the array are hidden and I can go back again so uh, with this functionality I can look inside the objects and the next thing what I can do is I can zoom in and out we have here the high angel and the focal length and now I can zoom out and zoom in again you see here is that the camera position does not change only the property of the, op uh, the the focal length changes so I can see all the interesting details distance and sometimes the wall comes again so and what else I can do I can go back to the initial position and can reset the camera to this place and now I can also change the near distance uh, back to the old value and when the near distance is less than 200 the head up display is here again.